Yo, I, I, I don't know why. I don't know where people be getting this. Ne, ne, never mind the beep beep, y'all. Never mind the beep beep. I, I, don't, I don't know why people be getting this theory, man, thinking that this crap going to end. Everybody, I, can't, I guess, you know, it's like a cliche thing now. It's like a cliche thing. Everybody want to be like, oh, man, the beast is, the time is up. The time is up. But look, look, even if the beast, even if the beast's time is up, right, and they, we talking Neanderthal or whatever, and they running, they hide in caves. They going underground and all that other crazy stuff, right? Let's just say, okay, yeah, that time is up, right? But 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 look, but look what else we gotta deal with. You gotta deal with AI. I'm, I'm up here, I'm up here trying to figure out which, which way this person gonna do. You know what I mean? You know, this goofy motherfucker. Um, so that you know, we gotta we gotta you gotta deal with AI, you know what I'm saying? This ain't see y'all y'all gotta get out your heads. You know about this white man syndrome bullshit. It, this is deeper than that. Okay, this is deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this ain't just. We're not battling. We're not battling with. Uh, you know, you see the one headlights. You know they still out here. You know what I'm saying? All the time. You know the one headlights. I just. You know I, I don't even like I said. Somebody commented. Somebody. Oh man, you shouldn't worry about the small thing. I don't worry about it. I just still record it because if it's in my sight, then I record it. it. It ain't nothing. You know what I mean? It ain't nothing to it but to do it. You know what I mean? There's a T.I. born every day, so somebody else needs to see what's going on so that way they realize that they ain't the only one going through it. You know what I mean? But as you can see, it's a wet day over here in Pennsylvania in the state of Pennsylvania. You know what I mean? But you got to understand, too, that, you know, we we up against we up against the AI. We up against archons and, and other entities. I mean, we talking highly and intellectual beings that control this construct and also took over it. They took over this joint. So when y'all be like, oh man, that time is up. That time is up. Whose time up? Your time might be up, but not these demons. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So who are you referring to? You know what I mean? Who are you referring to when you talk about their time is up? This is about the end. Who told you that? The Bible? This, this ain't nowhere near no end. This is really the beginning. The beginning phases of the apocalypse. So we, we got to trust me, it's a long journey. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm trying to figure out, what, should, should I go to a different market... Oh, shy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might be thinking, this, you know, you might just want to go somewhere else. I don't know, man. Well, should I go somewhere else, man? You know what I mean? But, you know, but like I said, look, 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 look. No, 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 matter, no matter where I pick, you know, it's going to be some white car, red car, or whatever, synchronizing with me along the Wednesday. You know what I mean? But I'm just trying to tell y'all, man, you know, who is it going to end for? <laughs> Because as far as I'm concerned, Sophia got this game on lock, okay? <laughs> she ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? You got you to gotta realize that the Matrix, the Matrix is a 1999, look, 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 look. The Matrix is a 1999 movie, right? And people still talk about this movie, including myself today. The movie came out in 1999. Now, how many people understood it back in 1999? How many people? I guarantee you a handful. Most people watched the movie just due to entertainment back then. People didn't really, really know what it was. Some did, but most didn't. So now we're in 2024. And you see how relevant that movie is. I could watch The Matrix over and over and over, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really, really love that movie. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's so, it's extremely deep when you see it with the third eye. Now, if you're just watching it with some carnal eyeballs, then okay, okay, that's a whole nother mother. That's a whole, that's a whole different story. You know what I'm saying? You just caught up in the action. But if you're watching it, like I said with the, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull right over here real quick. Ain't nobody over here too. Oh, let me pull over here. This is my other spins out over here, y'all. This my ain't nobody over here but one car. The day Saturday. 
I'm gonna let y'all know. Let me pull over here real quick and talk to y'all. I ain't got no umbrella, so I ain't gonna get out on the wall. But this is this is one of my this is one of my other parks. It's, 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 man, this is a massive park when you walk down there. If I, if I had an umbrella, I would go for a walk. But you're not allowed to have no vehicles beyond that, you know. But they're gonna they're gonna come. That police, somebody gonna come, somebody gonna come. But we gonna I mean, let, let me talk to y'all real quick. Let me talk to y'all real quick, man. Hold on, man. Hit the like button. Hit the cash app. Support the real. You know what I'm saying? We got cameras over there. Who cares? But anyway, what I'm saying, what was I saying? The movie The Matrix, right? The movie The Matrix is so... Look, we even got cars. We're going to have white, white cars just riding down the road now. They're just going to be riding down the road now because DB in the house. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and also, too, last, you know, last night, you know what I'm saying? You know, they, you know these do weapons, boy. I'm trying to tell y'all. If y'all just getting, you know, number synchronizations, man, and all that stuff. Look at the red. Uh, look like a gray, little bl bluish looking joint. We got another white car. If y'all just getting, if y'all just getting dog stalkers and stuff, just be happy, man. Because once they get you, once they do the weapon thing, they implanting you with this stuff. It's a whole nother app. It's a whole nother atmosphere, pimping. I'm trying to tell you, it's something that you don't want. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm highly gr uh, grateful every day, man. That um, you know, that I'm, I'm, I'm still here to even make a video for y'all. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of people, I can just imagine people that was before me that didn't make it due to the weapons, y'all. The weapon, this weapon's no joke, man. How it can basically take over your um your neurological system. Because we we talking once they implant you and constantly, constantly implant you with this technology, they could just basically infiltrate your avatar. You know what I'm saying? For those that don't don't understand, have a hard time understanding what I'm saying, then just go back and watch Body Snatchers 1978. Don't get caught up in, oh, man, it look like an old-fashioned movie. I can't get into it. Shut up. Go watch the dang old movie. All right? Go watch the movie. You know what I mean? Because trust me, I'm trying to tell you, that movie right there, I, re I highly recommend that movie because, because, like they said in the movie, they get you while you sleep. It seems like they be trying to take you over while you sleep it's almost like a nightmare on m street like freddie how freddie want to come and get you in your dreams you know what i'm saying freddie kill people in their dreams and stuff it's like they trying to get they trying to get me in my sleep they're trying to get me in my dreams they're trying to get me when i'm you know when i'm when i'm when you slumber that's why i did that video about sleep like when you sleep it's like you're at your most vulnerable state is you're easily to be attacked and that goes for everything even animals i've been hearing cats outside my window Two, three o'clock in the morning. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I know that they're asleep and then probably some predator walk up on them, a possum, a, a, a raccoon, a dog, whatever, whatever's out there, fox. You know what I'm saying? So they out there, you you constantly got to sleep with one eye open, one eye closed because you want, you want to, this is a, a warfare, not just for us, but for everything that's on the face of the earth. I told some nut. I comment. I ain't even gonna say the broad name. I comment on the babe on on the broad channel. You know she crying about what she going through. I'm like, look, this ain't about moralism, okay? Life is not fair. You know what I'm saying? She want to cry about what she's going through and what she been through and this and this and that. You gotta understand. There's a whole bunch of other people that's going through worse situations than you, okay? And 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 nobody's crying for them. You got people in all types of countries, not just America, but um, in, in all types of third world countries, you know, being human traffic, you know, starved. You know, think about think about these people over there in, in Pakistan, and Afghanistan, you know, saying that the U.S. government done drop bombs on, drop bombs and kill their, their parents. I seen the video, baby, three years old, sitting there dirty. They talk. They they got words. They talking about this 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 child right here just lost both of their parents due to a, um, an invasion. USA then dropped bombs and blew up their parents. You know, what I'm saying like that's just some crazy stuff, yo. That's just crazy. So that's why I don't complain about what I go through. I talk about my experience, but I don't complain because at the end of the day, I'm still grateful. Because at the end of the day, I'm still blessed. You see, what I'm saying I'm still blessed. I'm still, my gratitude is still high. And, and and if I die, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? But until that day come, 
I'm going to still keep my head up no matter what. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. I'm like Tupac, though. My only fear of death is coming back reincarnated. I just want to make sure that when I leave this planet, I don't come back here. I know that for sure. <laughs> I ain't trying to come back here. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if they got our clones trapped, our souls trapped in some type of high mind machine, some, some quantum computer. You know, you don't know what the hell's going on. You don't know. Especially you Bible toting people. You definitely don't know. Because all you're doing is reading Psalms 91. So shut up. People always want to come on my channel acting like they know what they're talking about. You don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Only thing you know is King James. And you don't even know him. Most of y'all don't even know that he was a homosexual. You know what I'm saying? But I but I, I could care less about somebody's, you know, you know, preference of what they like. I'm just saying. I just feel I just find it kind of weird for a homosexual. To write a version of God's holy book, a so-called God's holy book, when the whole book condemns homosexuality. I just, to me, I just find that shit weird. That don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Why are you even advocating this book when it condemns your lifestyle? <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't I don't get it. And I and, and I also notice too, a lot of people claim to be um Hebrew Israelites. And you know, as you can see, there's a lot of females out there that like females. And there's a lot of guys that like guys these days. But if you read Romans 1, that, that annihilates all that crap. You know what I'm saying? And then also, you go to Leviticus. I mean, um, I mean not, not um, Le Leviticus. Go to the, book, the old book of Leviticus. It tells you that all that stuff is an abomination to God. Man ain't supposed to be lying down with a man. Neither woman's supposed to be with a woman. But then you got these um, gay people representing this book. And, and it's just confused. It's like, yo, are you reading the book? Or are you just perpetrating? What are you doing? But anyway, I know I'm stepping on people's toes. But this is DB. I don't care about your toes. I'm going to do that. I'm going to give you the truth. You take it how you want it. It's going to be the truth. You, you can't say I'm lying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyway, going back to what the girl was saying, she was complaining about her life. I'm like, look, this ain't about moralism, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody gives a fuck about the gazelle that got ate up by the cheetah. You know what I'm saying? Like, the gazelle got feelings, too. You see what I'm saying? But guess what? This is the circle of life. And, then, and down here in this realm, something must get sacrificed for something else to live. That's just the way it is. If you watch the movie um, Divergent, the, 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 young, the young girl... Um, her mother sacrificed, sacrificed her own life, saving her daughter. You know, so she could, so she could get, so she could get through and complete her mission. But the mother ended up getting shot in the process of saving her own daughter's life. Just so, just you know, just so her daughter can go ahead and make it. It's like basically her mother was passing the baton to her daughter. Like, baby, you got to go now. Here, you take the race. You take it. I'm done. I'm out of here. So something always got to be sacrificed. Jesus was sacrificed. Whatever name, yo, yo, Howard Shy, whatever name you want to give him, they sacrificed his ass. Okay? And his father turned his back on him. Can I get a no-no there? So I don't know why you Christians thinking that the father going to be there for your ass. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? When 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 Jesus had said he spoke in Hebrew language, right? Eli la la shaba shama, meaning meaning uh my God, why why have thou forsaken me? So the father turned his back on his own begotten son, his only begotten son. What makes you think that he gonna be watching out for your motherfucking ass? But hey, you can believe what you want. I'm just quoting the scriptures to you. Something that you don't even do. Something that you don't you don't read, you don't investigate. Because if you did, then you wouldn't understand the words that's coming out of DB's mouth. But right now you got a frown on your face. Cause you don't even like what I'm saying. You think I'm blasphemy. <laughs> you think I'm Tupac Shakur blasphemy right now. This ain't blasphemy. This is facts. Read the book for yourself. Remember, I told you I was a Christian before. Okay? I went to Bible school, Bible study. I was deep into that shit. 
deep. But what did I do? I did what Jesus told me to do. <laughs> Seeking you shall find. <laughs> you should know the truth. <laughs> and the truth going to set your ass free. You know what I'm saying? And then now I understand why they was after Jesus. Now I understand why they gang stalked him. I understand that. Oh, here we go. I know, I'm waiting on somebody to come. I was waiting on somebody to come. You know what I mean? What's up, player? Somebody had to come and join the party. DB can't be by himself. You gonna, you got some weapon. What you going to do? Zap me with your phone? But anyway, going back, what was I saying? Back to the, mo the movie Matrix, how deep the movie is, how, re how relevant it is, the movie um, Body Snatchers. Um, and you got to walk in front, too. You know what I'm saying? So I can see. That's to see. See, when they do that, then we, you know, you know, he asked for himself to be on camera. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the movie, um, you know, Body Snatchers 1978. Watch that version. What was they doing? They How did they take over the people? They took over the people while they were asleep. Look at him. Get the fuck out of here. You mean some of you walked in front of me just to go backwards. You could climb the fence. You know what I'm saying? You could have jumped the fence. You ain't had to do that. But they got to be in your sight. Why? Because the AI can see through your eyeballs. You see what I'm saying? And that's why I told it, told y'all before. I stressed that so many times that people are, oh no, that's not true. They can't see through my eyes. No, not the not the boss. I'm not saying the boss can, but the AI can. The AI can see through everybody's eyes. I don't care who you are. Okay. This is a sentient program we are in, we're, we're in. They can see through your eyes. And 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 this is the reason why I'm part of the program. This is the reason why they make sure that these bots always in your face. That's why they got to synchronize with you. That's why they got all these white cars. You see what I'm saying? Because they want to make sure. I'm breaking it down to y'all. They want to make sure that the program is running well. How can you make sure that the program is running well? Well, we got to see it in live time. And how do we see it in live time? We see it through, your, through the target individual's eyeballs. Can I get a no-no there? You know what I'm saying? This is the best way. This is the best way to be able to see it in live time. They, and that's why they know your dreams. Because when you sleep, you got to understand this is a holographic universe anyway. You know what I'm saying? So when you sleep, you know what I'm saying? You know, your eyes really don't see what you think you see anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is just an illusion of what we see anyway. This 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 fictitious world, that this matrix simulation is all fake anyway. It's not really, really what we think. You know what I'm saying? Your eyes, they say your eyes is only, if you do research on the holographic universe, they say that your eyes is only projecting what the brain is interpreting. That's it. And then it even tells you that on the matrix. That's why That's why um, Neo was like, well, this ain't real? This ain't real? He was like, well, and Morpheus was like, well, what is real? And he was touching stuff and stuff. He was like, what? He said, this is just um, electrical signals being interpreted by your brain. That's it. So what you think you see, you're not really, really seeing it anyway. It's just, it's just a hologram. So that's why I keep telling people, don't get caught up in these Project Bluebeam, you know, so-called. I'm not saying that aliens ain't here. I'm not saying that. I know they're here. But you got to be careful what you see because you don't know what you see. You can't believe anything, really. You got to really, really, you know, think about it. Like, I don't know what the fuck that is. Now, if a monster come and grab your ass, then you better run. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you see a monster, you don't know if the monster real or not. You really don't. So, watch the movie, Body Snatchers, 1978. Watch the movie, Matrix Over. If you've seen it again, watch it again. The movie is a documentary. Watch the movie, They Live. Watch the movie, They Live. But going back to Body Snatchers, what did they do? What did they do to the people? How did they take over the people? They waited till they went to sleep. They waited till they went to sleep, and then they was able to infiltrate the body. And then, and then what they do? They create these pods. These pods, these pods was formed, and this is what I be believing about some of these people. I'm thinking that maybe that these people got body snatched, and the pods, they created a pod out of the original or whatever, and the pod just disintegrated, the, the original one disintegrated, and now, now it's nothing but the pods walking around here. You know what I mean? So, you know, 
because it don't make no sense for my mom to lie to me, y'all. I mean, it don't make no sense for everybody. You know what I'm saying? But why, why do everybody lie? I mean, God damn. It don't make no damn sense. Everybody liars. Nobody tells the truth no more. I mean, you kiss motherfucker in a lie and they just still lie. I'm like, I got you. I got you. I caught you. They still lie. They still lie. So I'm just chilling right now. I'm ready to go to the market. But um, I just wanted to just, just let me, let me just go back to what people were saying about it's, it's over. It's not over, okay? Stop saying that shit. <laughs> Their time is short. No, your time is short. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's the, that's the idea. Hold on, I got a call. <clears throat> I ain't got no water with me, but I'm gonna get some. But I'm just trying to tell you, your time your time is short. That's about it. Because they look, these people are already ahead of time. What's already done is already done. Okay, if they got movies that I done showed you over and over and over, for example, like I said, Body Snatcher that came out in 1978. They got I just got this other movie I'm gonna drop. This movie came out in 1972. They was talking about cloning. They done already cloned people. You know what I'm saying? So these movies are old. So we're in 2024 right now. That really make that right there, that right there lets you know that the damage has already been done. We just now waking up to it. And honestly, it's too late. It's fucking too late. And if anybody tell you it's not, they're lying to you. It's too late. It's fucking too late. I'm trying to tell you, the ones that are woke, the ones that, are, that can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, you you, you, you got to be just like the 144 or some shit. For real. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand that, you know, how I see it, you know, I, I believe everybody probably was already just already gone, man. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when we were asleep. Even before we woke up to what was really going on, I believe that everybody that was around us was already fucking bots, yo, NPCs. It was it was just a matter of time that the beast knew that we was going to wake up. The beast knew this shit. Cause look, they got CERN. They got time machines. They could jump and they, they jumping through portals. They can, you know what I'm saying? They fucking with time. They manipulate time. In fact, time get ready to go up now. We, we, we headed to the summertime, right? The equinox, right? Easter, Passover, all this shit, right? So now they great push time back up. Man always fuck with time. They got time machine. They gave you time cop. John Carl Van Damme. You know what I'm saying? They show you this shit all the time in these movies, right? So, you don't think that the beast already knew that your ass was going to wake up? The beast already knew your punk ass was going to wake up for the 93 shot. They already knew it. That's why they already had you in the gang stalk assimilation. That's why they already infiltrated your family. That's why they already infiltrated you and put you in these motherfucking psyop the PSYOP program because they knew eventually your ass was going to wake up sooner or later. And that's and I'm speaking from experience. They knew I was going to wake up. The, despite all the vaccine... Oh, oh, hold up. Despite all the, the, the boogie V's, <laughs> despite all the boogie V's and stuff that we done already had growing up, I done had all types of boogie V's growing up. My mom and dad, they were asleep. They ain't know no better. They giving me all types of boogie V's. How many people in the comment section... Comment down below if you know what the chicken pox is. Who had the chicken pox? That was just another experiment. That was another experimentation. The, the measles, ex chicken pox. I, I never I never had, you think I never had, you know, knock on wood. I never had the measles. But I had the chicken pox, though, and that was hell. Nine years old. Nine years old, dog. The chicken pox, man. Bumps everywhere. It was crazy. Know what I'm saying? I call it. I call it the uh, what they call it that uh, that that Tuskegee that T that Tuskegee experiment. Yeah, they've been doing experiments on our ass since they've been here, since they crawled out those caves, since the Neanderthal came out those caves. In fact, the Neanderthal came out those caves and they brought the diseases. When you you do the history on Native Americans, when they gave the Native Americans smallpox and shit. You know what I'm saying? They had blankets. They gave them blankets. That's how the beast is, right? The beast, is, the beast gave them gifts. Blankets as gifts. And, and the blankets had smallpox on it. And got people sick. Then he killed the buffaloes. And Man, the beast is a nasty motherfucker. Beast is a nasty motherfucker, man. They came, the Bible tells you that the beast came to kill, steal, to destroy. Look around. Who's doing the destroying? The, the destroying. Somebody, um, the base star in the comments saying she don't believe that the government is involved. Do your homework. 
you are still fucking sleep. Do your homework. What the hell you mean the government ain't involved? Shit. You better do your homework. You better wake up and smell the shit. Every damn president. The, the only one that that, that I would I would I give props to was Kennedy. Because he got killed. Now look, now look, that's another conspiracy, right? Um, Barack. Barack Obama. Black president. This is this is we live in this United United KKK of America, right? You already know that this is a KKK nation, right? You already know that racism is 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 wild, especially back in the day. It was real, real wild, right? Negroes getting hung and all that stuff, right? Now here it is. We got a we got a we had a black president for eight years, and he did not get touched. But Kennedy, which was a white president, got his head blown off on national TV. Make that make sense. Just think about it. You see that, you see that stop sign right there? I'm going to stop for a second. I, I'm going to wait. Let that ponder. <laughs> I'm going to say it again. Barack, which was a black president, eight years of presidency, did not get killed. The white man, Kennedy, got his head blown off. On National TV, National Geographic, whatever the fuck. So, and and guess what? Guess what? If you got, if you if you go online, you will see that Kennedy got videos that he was exposing the bullshit. He was exposing the secret the secret societies. He was exposing this this tyranny that we're in right now. That we're in right now to this day. He exposed it. And that's the reason why he got taken out. You see what I'm saying? Because when you don't obey, you get taken out. So you already know that Barack was nothing but a puppet. I don't give a damn. He was, y'all, the women, oh, he was handsome. Good Lord, I give him some. He was a black man. Oh, he is so sexy. He is, I don't give a damn about none of that shit. That motherfucker was a puppet and his whole duty was to put you in a damn prison camp and that's what we that's where we at right now america is a prison and that's why you got these bots riding around in circles like they ain't got no damn sense we don't need no fema camps they done already turned america to a big ass fema camp we ain't got to go to no fema camp It feel good out here, even though I ain't out here. I'm just, you know, <laughs> little, little white night, no white nice, nice homes over there. Ain't they nice? Million dollar homes, man. Million dollar homes. But guess what? Guess what? It look pretty, but everything that glitter ain't gold, motherfucker. Cause guess what? They gotta pay those goddamn taxes. They don't own them shits. They don't own them nice ass homes over there. So don't, so don't, don't get caught up, y'all. Don't feel bad. Oh, I wish I had a house. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had that. I don't wish I man, man. Trust me. Everything that glitter ain't gold. Let them not pay them taxes. And here come the banks. <laughs> AKA the Illuminatis. They coming to seize your property. That's what. So how I see it? Don't even buy a fucking house in America. Take your ass somewhere else and buy a house. Buy the land too. Because at the end of the day, you're never going to own it. How you gonna how you gonna buy something, pay him two, three, four, five million dollars for it, but then at the at the every year you still gotta pay five hundred thousand or whatever the taxes may be. You still gotta pay, you know, that amount amount every fucking year. And then if you don't pay it, they on your ass? Man, they just straight extortion. Straight extortion. You get a job, they step, you work all your week, you work all year round. No, I mean, look, not even not even all year round. You you go to you go to work five days out the week. You put in your forty hours or twenty hours, whatever you do. The bees get the check. He steps on it. He takes his percentage out and give you the rest, and you're cool with that. That's straight extortion. We are dealing with the mob, okay? And and we have been putting up with this bullshit forever. Motherfuckers don't want no change. They love it. They would rather gang stalk. They would rather bow down. They rather just, they rather just, um, instead of fighting, and we all come together and fight for our rights. Nah, we just want to bow down, 
and gang stalk your motherfucking ass. That's what we'd rather do. And then take the handouts. Take take the gift cards. Or whatever the hell they giving these people to do it. Whatever the hell they giving these people. Whatever the hell they giving these people. Whether it's uh, promotions, gift cards, free section 8, whatever. Free rent, whatever it is. It's still handouts from the beast. And he's going to put his foot up your damn ass. So don't get caught up in this. This is just an illusion. Yeah, that house look nice. Yeah, all three of them, they look nice. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you don't own it. So what, what, there's a big house too. And then you got to think about, and you already know that I was doing landscaping. Man, man, that costs mad money. Mad money to take care of these houses, take care of the land. They pay these, they pay these landscapers mad money. And I would love, I'm trying to tell, I would love to have my own landscaping business. But they were infiltrated. They didn't already, look, they didn't already show me that I really can't have nothing here in America. They were infiltrated. If these people took, they took away my, my clientele. You know, I cut hair. They took away my clientele, dog. That's how petty these motherfuckers is. All the people that was cutting hair on the side, gone. Gone. The video is almost 30 minutes. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm out. DB Game Stalk Assimilation, the best channel on YouTube. Holla Bizak. Keep your head up. I'm going to the store. I just wanted to vent real quick. I dropped a lot of motherfucking heat, y'all. Pick up the jewels. Pick the jewels up. Embrace the heat. If you can't take the heat, get your ass out the kitchen. This is the kitchen, baby. It's, it's 2,000 degrees. You be on your knees and you be better, better, please. You know what I'm saying? That's Craig Mack. Holler back, y'all. Keep your head up. I'm out.